back to my channel. Today I thought I would film a video all about what I do as a work from home teacher. So as everybody and their mother knows, the coronavirus has hit the United States and schools all over the country have shut down indefinitely until we can get a handle on things. So I hope that you are all practicing your social distancing and you are staying home as much as possible, not getting into or hanging out with crowds of more than 10 people, communicating with and having contact with the people who are in your immediate circle of family or friends that you normally see just so that you are not spreading the coronavirus. Because as we have learned, many people could be carriers of the coronavirus and not even know it and you could pass it on to someone who is elderly or has an underlying health condition and that could be fatal for them. Obviously, I am not a health professional. I will leave some links down below where you can get information, more information about the coronavirus and exactly what, what it looks like, what it means, how to protect yourself. But in the meantime, I have been working from home all week. So I thought I would kind of bring you along with me today. It is Friday, March 20th, and you can see what I've been doing. Every day has been looking a little bit different. Today, Friday, I feel like I finally got somewhat of a handle on this whole work from home thing. As a teacher, it looks very different. It involves a lot of communication with my students via Class Dojo, Google Classroom, text messages, phone calls, stuff like that. So I'm gonna bring you along with me today. It is almost nine o'clock. We are doing, my partner teacher and I are doing a Google Hangout with some of our students this morning. The ones who can join us obviously will be there, but we did extend the invitation to all of our students just to see their faces, catch up with them, and to answer any questions they may have about what the upcoming weeks are gonna look like. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and subscribe if you have not. All right, I gotta get ready for this phone call, so I will see you guys in a bit. Okay, so an update on the Google Hangout with my students. It was really cute. We had about like eight or nine kids join us. Some of them couldn't get their Wi-Fi to work. Some of them couldn't get their computers to work, so they couldn't join. But the majority of the ones who joined, we could hear and see them. And it was really interesting to talk to little kids on Google Hangout. They were showing us their toys, running around, showing us their pets. Nothing really productive happened, but we did learn that we think from now on, we're going to like do smaller groups, maybe like four or five kids at a time, just to, you know, prevent kids from talking over each other and to really be able to get things done. Today's Google Hangout was literally just to check in on them, see how they're doing, see if they have any questions for us, stuff like that. So it was really cute. It was good to see them. Now I'm going to sit on my computer and see if there's anything else I need to do. Continue trying to make a couple of parent contacts that I haven't been able to make yet. And then, excuse me, and then we'll see what I have to do from there. Okay, so you were able to see me 
I talked to my students earlier today, so obviously I wasn't gonna show my students' faces on the camera, but I got to uh, do a Google Hangout with some of them. So it was really cute. The kids were so excited to see each other. They were showing us like their rooms, their toys, their pets. So that was really interesting and funny. And after that, I kind of had a little break where there are some things that I could be doing, but I figured I might as well just take some time to work out. So I did like a 35 minute workout. As you saw, Orange Theory has blessed us with some at home workouts that they've been posting. So I have been using those the past few days to kind of get my workouts in. And then usually I'll do like an Orange Theory workout plus like another like YouTube workout. Today though, I'm just gonna stick to the Orange Theory one. I feel like I, you know, burned some calories. My sweat dried up a little bit, but I was pouring sweat so that I can get back to work. So I'm gonna get up and I'm going to take a shower, a quick shower, just, you know, like a body shower, super quick. And then I'm going to get back to work. So when I have been working from home and kind of social distancing myself, I found myself getting anxious a lot, just simply because, there's just a lot of things that were supposed to happen for me this year that are getting canceled or postponed due to the coronavirus, like my wedding, for example. So I had a bridal shower last weekend in Greenville, with which was pri um, primarily family. And then I plan to have one in Charlotte on April 5th for friends and coworkers. And that had to be canceled. My wedding is not until May 30th, so I have a little over two months to kind of pray that this coronavirus slows down a little bit so I can still have my wedding the way I want to. Otherwise, we have a backup date of July 4th, which is, you know, 4th of July, not the most ideal day for a wedding simply because a lot of people have plans and will be traveling so I'm certain a lot of people that I want to be there may not be able to come so I'm hoping and praying that May 30th we can have our wedding the way we want to without a restriction on our guest count or anything like that so I've been pretty anxious and pretty nervous and sad and just full of emotions the last couple of days just because like you plan for really good things to happen and then something totally bizarre like a global pandemic <laughs> happens. So not to mention I'm supposed to graduate with my master's degree in May and I just got a notification during my workout that that commencement ceremony has been canceled. So I also will not get to graduate. I mean, I'm gonna finish and I'm gonna have my degree, but I won't get to have a regular commencement ceremony, as well as, as you all know, and are probably wondering if we're still going to China. The plan right now is to still go. We're going to actually get our FBI background check today, but yeah, it's just, it's uncertain right now. There are travel bans. There's, there's just so much going on. And like of all years for this to happen, it would just happen to be this year. And I'm stressed. That's all I'm going to say is I'm stressed. So working out every day has been a way for me to relieve some stress in a productive way and not just cry and in um sulk and mope around and at the beginning of the week i was eating a lot like eating bad foods that i know i shouldn't eat just because it was comforting me but i'm finding my solace now in working out which is very good because regardless of when we're getting married we're still going to get married so i do want to keep the weight that i've lost off because i've gained quite a few pounds back over these last couple of weeks of being stressed out so Needless to say, I'm stressed, as I'm sure many people are. There are people who are losing their jobs. There are people who just, they just, they don't have the same luxuries and privileges that I have. So I'm very blessed that the only thing I have to worry about is a wedding or the only thing I have to worry about is graduating or moving to a different country. Some people have pressing issues that they're worrying worrying about like paying their rent paying their utilities things like that so i'm blessed to have the stressors that i have i do know that and i accept that and i'm not trying to be like a first world problem person who is crying about a wedding but 
things are important to me still. It doesn't matter if they aren't as severe as other cases, they do still matter to me. But again, I'm blessed to have the stressors that I have. I know that, I understand that. And I am trying to find a way to be productive with my anxiety and productive with my stress. So working out, staying busy, just spending time with Devin, those have been really, really good ways for me to do that. So let me stop chit chatting. It's 1108. I need to go take a quick shower, then hop back on my computer and see what other work needs to be done. Okay, so as you can probably tell, I have not showered yet. I went ahead and recorded the daily read aloud for my students. So every day I have been reading, Junie B. Jones has a monster under her bed. So I've been reading a chapter a day and I posted on Class Dojo around 12.15, even though today it was closer to like 11.45 when I posted it, just so that they can continue to listen to Junie B. Jones because they love listening to the read alouds every day. And I love doing them too. So I did that. Now I'm about to go sit on my floor in my room and do a couple of things on my computer and then I'm going to shower because we have a video call at one o'clock with our nutritionist. So I am going to shower before that and then we're going to do our video call. Hopefully that won't take longer than 30 minutes and then I will get back to work. So I'll probably get a snack in a little bit um, just to hold myself over until lunch. I'm not really that hungry, but yeah, a snack might be useful, especially since I just worked out. So today has been actually very busy, like probably the busiest day that I've had so far working from home, just because I'm starting to get the hang of it a little bit more, like I said earlier. So I know this has really been like a lot of me talking, but I'm at home. I'm not really going anywhere today. We are going somewhere around four. Maybe I'll film that, but that's not really like my work from home routine. So I probably won't. I just want you to be able to get an idea of what my work from home looks like. And it could be very different from someone else. And in fact, it'll probably look extremely different next week once I learn a little bit more and I know exactly what we have to do on a daily basis. So yeah, I'm about to go sit on my floor. I apologize for how much I've been saying um. I think I'm going to try to cut it out when I edit this, but I was watching myself talk earlier and I have been saying um like every other word. So I apologize for that. I know that is super annoying. It's annoying to me. So I'm gonna work on that, but yeah, I'm about to go sit on my floor. All right, so I took a shower and we just met. <laughs> we just uh, had a Zoom call with the nutritionist. So now I'm about to get back to work while he watches Space Jam. That's it. All right, so I'm back in this hoodie from this morning and I'm tired, y'all. Working from home is hard because you have beds there. Then I have a bed in our room. I can just get in it, take a nap. I can eat whatever I want, right? But instead, I need to be doing something. I don't think I'm built for this life. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Something that my school is having us do is do these modules about IEPs or individualized education plans. I think that's what they're called, I'm pretty sure. Um and this module is supposed to take about three hours to do. So far, I think I've spent like an hour on it and I'm only on page one. 
but it's mainly because I'm so checked out. So because I'm so checked out, um, I am going to start cleaning. So I'm going to do a quick cleaning montage of me just separating my clothes and starting laundry and then cleaning the kitchen after we had lunch. I'm not going to do any deep cleaning today. Maybe I'll make a whole dedicated deep cleaning video next week or this weekend, depending on when I get to it. But I'm so checked out for today. So we're going to have a Friday early release day starting now. Hi, cutie.